Hello guys, my name is Eric Van, I'm a shark, and welcome back to Paranoic. So in the last episode, we ran away, and we ran away, and we hid, and we were like, yeah, you can't find me, you can't touch this, near, 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 uh, uh, mm, uh, can't touch this. That's exactly what happened. And uh, in this episode, we're gonna go, ex oh, sorry, we're gonna go investigate this little piano noise that's playing, and by little piano noise, I mean big piano noise. It started playing all on its own, and it stopped playing. I see, the person who played the piano was a wannabe, because Miki had played this earlier too. And the ghost, he goes, all like, I want to do it too, because I want to be cool, don't steal my thunder. I heard the piano. What's this about? It can't have played itself. Hey, I play with my, s I, no, I, I don't play with myself. That came out wrong. <laughs> that came out really wrong. <laughs> yeah! I can't move. So something's got my leg. Oh no, it's a dog. Shake off. I love how like our only option is shake off. Oh, I see. I got the pressure. Ah! What? <laughs> what is that? It is a ghost then, because obviously uh, we're shaking it off, but we can't see anything. We saw that creepy face. That was really creepy, actually. Pant, pant. <gasps> oh my god! I keep it on the piano. That's what was playing the piano. You know. This ghost monster thing got pretty lucky, you know? The ghost monster thing was all like, ah, and was playing like a really beautiful song. It's pretty lucky. Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, no, no. Stay away. Oh, oh, I forgot. It's going to be, oh my god, I got to hide again. What do I got? Oh, no, don't. oh my god, I can't believe I got away. Holy shit, that was so close. I got to save my game. And by save my game, I meant I got to save my game and turn my phone off because a little noise came up. Why am I going upstairs? Okay, let's come on. Let's pray for the best. No, that's the bathroom. We don't got to go up here. Okay, let's just try. You never know. Oh, jeez, I like, oh, I can't hide in here because the monster's coming over. Holy crap, I'm a badass. Yeah, I'm fucking badass. I'm meeky. I'm meeky, motherfucker. I'm meeky. Okay, um, let's try. Can I, can I hide in the bookshelf? Nope, that's, that's a dumb idea. You can't hide in the bookshelf. <laughs> it might have worked, though. Be like, hey, monster, I'm just a book. I'm just a book. Don't mind me, I'm a book. <laughs> Look at my pages, I'm a book. No, that, okay, okay, let's hide in the safe. No, I can't hide in the safe. Oh god, it's kind of for me already! There's nowhere to hide here. Okay, where in the balls on you? Oh, am I gonna hide? Holy shit! Ah, no! High five, dude! Okay, I got a good idea. We're gonna go in here, and we're gonna hide in here. It's type it all tree. Yes, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful. Come on. Big money. Big money. Big money, we got this. We got it, we're not- Okay, no, there's no- God, there's nowhere to hide in there! Is there anywhere to hide in here? Okay, let's- let's hide in the jar! <laughs> My ideas never work. Okay, let's go to the kitchen, go to the kitchen. We're gonna hide in the cupboard. I'm a plate. Yes, oh my god, we actually can hide in the cupboard, that's crazy, okay. Pretend you're a plate. I'm a plate, you use me to eat with, and, uh, put some food on top of me! <laughs> Let's go back in there. Let's go in the locker. Lockers are always good. It's cramped, but you can do it. It's cramped, so you're not gonna get seen, right? Just breathe. Don't breathe. He keep it all in. <gasps> <laughs> you suck, you are the wean off a Okay, let's go in the room over here. Come on, big mo- Oh yeah, can we hide in the CDRs? Hide in the- d Oh jeez, Louise. Oh my god, this is a dresser. Are you serious? That's a dresser. And you can hide in- uh. I've searched far and wide. Ladies and gents. Is that it? No, it's gonna- No? I got it? That's it, I gotta have got it! I gotta have got it! I got to zit! Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that was painful. What? Morning? Yeah, I didn't get as lucky this time as I did with night number two. <laughs> e enough! I, I can't stand this! Yeah, Miki, I would- That thing's hand! I know, it's a massive high five. I still feel it on my leg- Oh, you got your leg high fived. So I don't even know if that's a high five. Gross! I love how she says gross. Shouldn't it be like scary? I'm scared. I'm calling mom and going home. Oh! 
I can't rest in this place. That is fantastic. You know, it did take you until, like, night number three to get to that conclusion. Which is kind of a fail, I gotta say, Miki. But, you know, like, uh... I'm glad you finally, like, want to leave, you know? She's not like, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this mystery! Like in a lot of other horror games, you know, to progress the plot. She's like, I'm- I'm out of here! And that's a good call. You should be out of here. Let's call Mom. I know you're awake, Mom! But Mom's not gonna believe us. There's a scary monster! Mom's gonna be like, oh, you're just a paranoiac! <laughs> Hello, Miki? It's so early, what do you want? Sorry. Sorry, um, can I go back for a while? Huh? What are you talking about? Did something happen? Um, it's not that big of a deal. There's just been some problems. Like a monster chasing me. A little bit. Little tiny problems, you know. Life things get in the way. <laughs> I'd like to come back, please. It's too late for that now. I don't know what happened, but what? That's your home now. Don't call me about this stuff so early in the morning. Well, our mom really hates us. Good. Bye. Jesus, Mom, you're... you're mean. You're... you're poopy. You're the poopiest mom in the whole poopy world of moms. I didn't think so. What do I do now? Yeah, what do you do? I... you got better chances on the street. Seriously, you don't have to stay here. Did, did I find a key or something? I have a somewhere key, that's great. Of course I have a somewhere key. Apparently the hints in the last episode were for the location of the keys, and I was just like randomly coming across them as I was exploring. No, Eric, why do you always go to this bathroom? That's such a bad habit. This one was locked, right? No, it wasn't. That's the piano room. How stupid of me. One of these was locked. I guess not. <laughs> I'm smart. Okay, is there one down here? There was a dressing room down here. There we go. This was the one that's unlocked. I think the other one beside it's the dressing room. Oh, great. Oh, my God, it's a little Benson. Where's Benson, boy? Benson. Okay, Benson, you're joining me for the rest of this, then. Benson, look, it's your friend. He's not my friend. He has a bow tie. Bow ties are so lame. It's so like last century. Gotta wear red scarves. Chicks dig the scarves. Benson, you're such a little perv. A bisque doll looks pricey. A stuffed bear feels so fluffy. <laughs> it's so fluffy and so pricey. My aunt is so cooly. A small bed for kids. The sheets are stretched tight. <gasps> Uh, you're a pussy. Get out of here. Wah! There's nothing in the desk. The trash can has some crumpled up papers. Huh, there's something in here. It's going to be a message. I thought in darkness I could find light, but there was no going. So that's going to be a hint to the next key. So I thought in darkness I could find light, but there was no going back. So somewhere that's dark, a light in the dark, but we can't go back. That is probably something to do with, I don't friggin' know. You know, I think that clue is going to lead me to, like, I don't friggin' know. That's great. Darkness, light, maybe here because there's a mirror or something. You friggin' something like that. It's like, uh, he's gonna friggin'. Yeah, it's friggin'. Oh, I see. That makes total sense. We gotta use, like, a light. Maybe this light switch, too. Let's turn it off. And then we got this light on, but what am I doing? Yeah? Is there a shiny thing? Do you see anything shining? Anyone? Hello? Shiny thing? A lit lamp. Huh? Under the lampshade. There was a key in here. I didn't notice with it off. Okay, that's... that makes sense. What just happened? Oh my god, my game... my mouse is like crazy. There's something wrong with my computer. My mouse keeps on flickering off the screen. And it's just driving me a little bit crazy. So I got another somewhere key. There we go. Finally. The last room. This is the master bedroom too. Phantasmabalzo. Lotions and such. Lotions. Yeah, right. She used it to masturbate. See, she's got lotion and tissues. <laughs> you know, when she dedicates some big portions of her room to lotion and tissues, you know there's some funky business going on, okay? There's a piece of paper in the drawer. Oh, great. When you gaze into the abyss, the abyss gazes into you. Where is, could this mysterious abyss be? Abyss. Oh, great. I gotta find an abyss. You know what? The abyss has got to be this toilet. The toilet smell. No, that's my abyss. Seriously, that's where I drop things and they never come back. That is an abyss. If I'd ever seen one. Maybe there's a well outside. Oh, there is a well outside. This has got to be it. This is the abyss. Come on. Bottom of the well is too dark to see. 
Huh? Something shining on the inside. Is it a key? Of course it is. Reach inside. I hope I don't die. Ah, it's just too far away. There. Wah! Oh, shit! <gasps> oh, I'm alive. Thank God. <laughs> oh, my God! Thank God if that was going to be like a game over and I hadn't saved in a while. I'm... No way I fell in. I'm so far down I can't climb up there. Maybe I did die. Hello? Is there anyone around? Somebody! Somebody! Maybe this is where the monster sleeps. Oh no. Now what do I do? Yeah, now what do you do? Let's save in a different file. I, I have a bad feeling about this. Let's search this rock. Come on, rock. Oh, frantically running around. There's nowhere to go. Come on, go into the darkness. Go on your hands and knees into the darkness. Look, I can see a rock. Up ahead, or like a cave wall or something. Or I guess maybe this is it. There's just this hole. Like, I can't actually go anywhere. There's actually a wall here. Oh, shit. Am I just going to die here? Is this it? Am I going to starve to death? Well, I'd probably die of thirst first. This wall looks kind of brittle. Let's punch it. I'll try breaking it with this rock. Maybe I can make a foothold. That's a pretty big rock. Oh, I see. We're going to make footholds and climb up. That's pretty crazy. That would be meticulous. Oh, there's going to be like a secret. Oh, there's a secret entrance. God, Miki's strong. She's just like, I just wanted to make a foothold, but I broke the fucking wall down because I'm Miki, bitches. Miki, you're amazing. Miki, you're the best. I wish you could protect me. Miki, what is this? Is there really this much space under the well? That's ridiculous. That's ridic. But it's possible. It may lead to the surface. I'll keep walking then. Don't be ridic. Don't redick your dick. <gasps> oh no! It's here too. I got to roll. Oh, I saved my game already. Don't worry about that. Holy Jesus balls! Oh wait, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's coming fast. It's coming fast. I go up, up, and left. Oh no! I'm totally gonna die. I'm totally gonna die. Don't die, please. Just give me this one chance to succeed the first time. Whoever's up in the sky! Okay, this isn't too bad. Although those eating weird noises in my head are feeling a little bit weird. I'm just, I was like, it's wrong for him. Maybe I missed an entrance though. There's like a secret pathway. I hope there's not a secret pathway. Please don't do that to me again. Please don't do that to me. I don't want to go in your secret pathway. Okay, this has got to be the exit. I've gone up and down and all around, left and right, and turned into the blight. That didn't make any sense. But I had to rhyme it! Oh my god, there's more! <laughs> god! I thought I was just gonna be safe and good to go, so I waited for a split second. But luckily, it was only for a split second. I bet Miki's getting tired now. I wonder if this monster ever gets tired. I wonder if this monster has a respiratory system and is like, <gasps> Oh my god, I gotta do more cardio, Jesus. Although, the monster's cardio is probably pretty damn good because it's crawling on its hands and legs all the time, but it goes at super fast speeds like, dah, 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 dah. Fucking, I can sprint! I can sprint the 100 meter dash! Okay, well, 100 meter dash is not really impressive for cardio. I can run a marathon, my fucking hands and knees! Yeah, that's impressive. Okay, I don't... This is quite the long maze. Its effect is wearing off on me. It was an intense chase, now it's just like, oh, yeah, there's more pathways. Oh, no! Giga! Hello! Oh, high five! No, that was the high five scary face noose! Oh, I see. It's showing us that the ant probably killed herself. Yeah. The aunt. Aunt. I gotta say aunt. I, I used to say aunt, but I, I fixed myself. I say aunt now. Aunt? Oh, we're just back here. Well, that's depressing. And now we're tired because we ran away. I bet we're gonna wake up in the house, though. It's like, who put us here? Kamuna. Mr. Takamura? Oh, it's probably Shinji. Shinji! We're lucky we made friends, huh? Oh, oh. Mr. Miura. Are you okay, Miss Takamura? I'm lowering a rope for you. Wait right here. There. Not here, because you're there, and I'm here. Are you okay, Miss Takamura? You don't seem hurt, but you should go to the hospital. Sorry for barging into the garden. <laughs> sorry for barging into your garden and saving your life. I'm sorry. Did you want to die down there? But you didn't answer the doorbell, so I came in and I saved your life. <gasps> what? Why are you so... Miss Takamura? What? 
Ah, best cry ever. <laughs> Miss Sakamoto, what's wrong? Enough. I hate this. I want. I want to go home. I'm so glad she's reacting like I would expect someone to react in this situation. <laughs> like you know, sometimes in horror they're just like, "Oh, that was scary." They don't even say that was scary. They're like, "Ha!" Oh. They like escape from a monster and they're like, "That's good. Let's just continue where we were left off last time." A monster? There's a monster in the house, really? Since the day I moved in, something inhuman, non-animal, has been stubbornly after me. Stubbornly. Even down in that well cave, it was chasing me. And it's not just a monster. There's been hair in the water and faxes and pianos playing themselves. And strange voices. I can't take it. I'm scared. Of course I am. It's admittedly hard to believe. It's true. Really, it's some kind of zombie. I wouldn't lie about this. I see. Perhaps it's not a monster, but some kind of wild animal. Sure. Okay, I understand. Stay at my place for today. Huh? Really? I've lived there for five years and I've never met such a monster. So you should be fine there. Maybe that was his plan all all along. He put the monster there and then he wanted us to go in there and he's going to touch us in weird places. I'll look around this place while you sleep tonight. I'll take care of anything strange, I see. There's no need to... Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridic. It's fine. Leave it to me and relax for today. Shinji, his eyes look a little weird. Someone mentioned that in the comments. I didn't even catch that. Because they're like slitted like cats. So maybe there's something up with him because of that. Some sort of secret he's not letting on. Wow, his house looks all up to date. Has a nice little flat screen monitor in there. New floors. Your room's very clean. Ha ha! I just don't have much stuff. But you got a big ass coffee pot. That's pretty amazing. I want that. By the way, Miss Takamura, may I ask you something? What? You mentioned having an illness. What kind of illness is it? Sorry if it's rude. Depression. I take antidepressants, and I'm writing a serial story, so... I see. Then you really must relax. Sorry, my recording stopped for a second, so I had to restart it. Um, I gotta check how much room I have on my hard drive left before I start recording. That's, uh, that's a big deal. Anyways, thank you very much. Also about Miss Saiki. I'd like you to tell me about her. Miss Psyche passed from illness, yes? I thought it odd, since she didn't seem unhealthy when I last saw her. My aunt killed herself. Okay, so I... In that house. I forgot if we did learn about her killing herself before. I thought, like, we just learned that she passed away. But then we actually learned that she killed herself now because we saw the news. But, oh, God, you know, I just... Oops. I should really review this stuff. It was suicide? I didn't know. Do you know Why? She got married about ten years ago and started living in that house. She had a hard time of it, but she got pregnant after about five years. She and her husband were very glad. But the child was stillborn. My aunt always blamed herself. My uncle got tired of trying to support her and left the house. What an asshole. Since then, she kept getting stranger. She started saying she was always being watched or judged. Yeah, of course, that would make sense because, you know, the uncle just upped and left. That's pretty harsh. And, you know, like... I gotta say, in Asian culture, like in Korea, and I, I know a friend of mine who has recently done this, basically she got divorced because the husband was an asshole and she was newlywed. It wasn't very long before she got divorced and they had a kid together. And so she she got divorced, but like when people ask her like, oh, so where does your husband work? Because she has this kid. She goes, oh, he works in a different city because if she tells them that she's divorced, they'll be like, oh, it was probably your fault. And there's a stigma with that where, like, you know, people in Asian culture will judge her, especially the woman, the female, for getting divorced. And it's pretty harsh. It's pretty harsh. So I understand, like, the situation with the aunt. My mom and I were her only family. We shouldn't have, we should have supported her, but we couldn't. My mom was terrible hysteria. My mom has terrible hysteria, and she had always been prejudiced against her little sister. My mom called my aunt crazy and a murderer. She wanted nothing to do with her. I was afraid of my mom, so I ignored all of it, though I knew my aunt's pain. If I had been brave and supported her and taken her to the hospital, it would have never happened. That day I went to that house without my mom knowing. I was worried for my aunt. She'd hung herself on the second floor, that's why we saw the noose. I screamed, the rope snapped, and she fell to the floor. My mom didn't want the house. She didn't even want to be reminded of my aunt. 
When I was diagnosed with depression, my mom recommended I go there. Said it was a good house for crazies. I'm sure she meant to imply that I might as well die too. Oh, that's... wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've gotten on saying too much. I know it's not a pleasant story. It's alright. You've had it very rough. Please take care of yourself. I'll look around your house, Miss Takamura. Make yourself at home here. It's getting late, so sleep whenever you want. You can use that bed there. No, um, I shouldn't. I can use the sofa or the floor. Now don't be ridiculous. Someone so pretty can't sleep on the so er ah er ah. <laughs> anyway, I'll sleep on the sofa, Miss Takamura. Take the bed. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure you didn't mean to say that. It's Mr. Slick. <laughs> Now then. Ah! <laughs> oh, someone so pretty shouldn't do that. Ah, big wink. Mr. Miyota really is nice. Calms me to talk to him. <laughs> okay, that's great. Well, I'm going to save the game here. We're going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we're going to go sleep on the sofa. And maybe in the middle of the night, we're going to slip into Shinji's bed. Huh? Uh, be like, oh my god, I'm so lonely out here. Can I just please cuddle with you? Okay, girl, come on. And it's going to be hot. Maybe not. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed. This playthrough is pretty cool. I am enjoying it. And, um, you know, I have a feeling we're getting close to the end. I hear this isn't that long. I hear it's much shorter than a lot of the other RPG horrors I've played. So, yeah, um, I don't know. Maybe we'll end it in the next episode or the one after that. I'll see. Well, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. As always, guys, peace.